greetings to all of you. My dear sisters and brothers and my dear friends, a warm welcome to all of you from your pastor, Yeti. In this new broadcasting of Search My Heart of God, a new appointment with God, before I go in a new one for this week and the month of February, I want to ask you to think about this, that I see which states and cities I can look that on, look that up in my geographical inside of the speaker broadcasting, but I cannot view demographical. For that, they ask that listeners would just register, and register means just make yourself an account, cost you nothing, but then I can see more the places where you really come from, and would be excited for me, and it's not getting in any private thing, but it just gives you more a view of the demographical area. So, just give it a thought, not a pushing in, you have to, you know, give it a thought. So, come with me now with a new appointment with our Lord. And my dear ones, so often in this life, we find ourselves being treated unjustly. Perhaps someone in a position of authority over you is simply being mean, harsh, and cruel, unfair, and unjustified in his or her treatment of you. What are you to do? God says Jesus learned obedience through his suffering. He also says, you have been called for this purpose. Since Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example for you to follow in his steps. Who committed no sin, nor was any deceit found in his mouth. And while being reviled, he did not revile in return. While suffering, he uttered no threats, but kept untrusting himself to him who judges righteously. So what do you do? What do you do? Follow Jesus' example. Follow him. Surrender independently by acting independently of God. No. Don't do wrong in that. Sometimes we have to be silenced in our words we speak. In other words, keep your mouth shut. Because sometimes, I learned it from a Jewish rabbi, if you don't have anything wiseful to say, just be silent. No deceit, no reviling, no threats. Trust God. Trust Him. And I know it's not easy. You're hurt. I've been there too. So, it's very important how we just take the words of Jesus. And I know we can... I'm saying it's very, very respectful to my Lord that you cannot all take the words of Jesus literally because there are some texts in the scriptures that you so hard in that, but it's a meaning behind that that you have to think about your thoughts and your, your way you walk. And if you allow yourself that the Holy Spirit will lead you more into an in-depth of your life and your spirituality, then he can change you and transform you. Now pray with me. 
In you, O Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be ashamed. In your righteousness, deliver me and rescue me. Incline your ear to me and save me. My lips will shout for joy when I sing praises to you. And my soul, which you have redeemed. The Lord bless you and protect you. The Lord deal kindly and graciously with you. The Lord bestow his favor upon you and grant you peace. Blessings to all of you, my dear ones. This is your Pastor Yeti. Bye.